Hello, it's Jimmy here again at O'Reilly's Mobile Mechanics. Just come here now to look at this VW Golf. It's losing power. And if you switch the car off and then restart it, you'll intermittently get power back for a few seconds. So we're inside. Start the car up. You can see these signs on there because I've already pulled the bonnet catch ready to open it. So it's not currently got an engine light on. And the customer did send me a picture that there was a message on here saying visit workshop. But uh, when you switch the car off, it disappears until you try and accelerate hard and then it's coming back again. So I've got the diagnostic scan tool out here. Gonna go through it and see what we can find. I think it's gonna obviously relate something to the turbo. Usually turbo or, or fuel rail pressure can only cause this sort of issue. Trouble codes. Okay, we've got the O2 sensor and turbo charge under boost PO299. Just open up the bonnet. We've got the 2 liter TDI engine there. Take off the engine cover so we can have a look inside. So I'm just going to get this smoke machine ready. Might have to use it, I think. Um, this just will push smoke through the inlet pipe here and see if we've got an air leak anywhere. Um, but first we're going to do a few more tests on this part of the car over here. Pull that off. So this is one of the vacuum pipes that runs down to the uh, solenoid uh, diaphragm. And we need one from this end as well. So let's pull it off from that end as well there. So we've got that pipe disconnected now. So I think what I'll actually do for a minute is put it back on this side. Let's just connect this back on. Now I'll connect this tool up again here, it's a vacuum gauge to test if the uh, solenoid over there is working. So I've connected that onto the solenoid and we'll read the gauge when we start the car. So you can see there it's in the middle zero, so you've got pressure and vacuum. So what I've done is just mounted that up there on the, on the windscreen so I can see it when we start the car. Let's just start it up now. Okay, so we can see we've got vacuum there, so that's working. So we'll disconnect that from there. Now I'm going to connect it back onto this. Okay, so what I'm doing is connecting that back on there. Now I'm going to test it, um, test this uh, actuator uh, to see if the diaphragm's holding air inside. So again, I'm using the MIDI vac again. Now I've connected it from to this pipe again directly onto this. So now we've got this on vacuum. And we're going to pump it up, see if it's building up vacuum and holding. It'll need to hold while we uh, do it as well. Okay, so that's not holding vacuum. So I think the actuator is definitely packed in. Okay, so that actuator is yeah, it's definitely not holding pressure. So it looks like we won't have to do a smoke test. So. If that was working, we would then do a smoke test. Put the connect this smoke this cone and push the smoke through the system to see if we can see any smoke leaking from any cracks on the inlet manifolds or boost pipes. Um, I've got my own van here, so I can connect this up to my own actuator and just show you for a comparison. Okay, so here I am at my own van now, and I've got the diaphragm here. The um, it's connected up. To the, yeah, the actuator and connected to the MIDI vac. So let's put that over here where we can see it. Pump some pressure. You can see there that's pulling down some some vacuum and it's holding. So that's what that one that's what that one should do. So if we disconnect this, that'll drop just like that. So that one is working. 
And just another little point there, Tad, as you can see, there's a brand spanking new uh, O2 sensor that's just been fitted on it. The code just hasn't been cleared. Uh, one more thing I can add there, if you're going to test one of these, is the way I've tested it there is by testing onto the end of the tube, which that will test this, and it's also testing the tube um, for pressure. Now you could see when I disconnected this end that that, that hose is can, is holding pressure because it's it's pulling vacuum from this side. But when you disconnect it from here, that's not holding pressure, and we know the hose is holding pressure. So if you disconnect it, if you just use uh, a connection that connects straight onto the diaphragm, there is obviously a slight chance that there might be a split in that, which you're not going to notice. So that way we've checked the holes and that at the same time there. Okay, so this video here our, and our attendance here is just for diagnostics at the minute. So we're all about done and hopefully we'll get this swapped over in another video. See you next time.